of storms, fires, and eruptions that threatens to devour. Set this what camera here, and we're good. What's going on, dudes? Fucking picked up away because remain. I love and nature. And is David Attenborough? Species have proven themselves it sounds like David Attenborough. In ways humans could not. We're gonna have to fact check that later, but man, look at those glowing mu mushrooms. All right, so we're uh, a sugar flyer, I think it said. But uh, what are our controls? All right, I can't do anything right now. Oh, it's got to be like my mom. One such species is the sugar glider. The sugar glider. That's that's the, that's the name. Unusually adept at navigating this new and treacherous environment. Bro, it is super scary right now. Still a little close up on our guy. So the game said that we have to save our family. I'm assuming we get no separated in the storm. Like all life on Earth, now balance on the brink of extinction. Their still beating hearts offer us glimmers of hope, proof that no matter the challenge, life can always find a way. Life always finds a way. They've definitely used that line in the documentary, like on Planet Earth. Like human beings, sugar gliders form powerful familial bonds. Adults and their offspring protect and nurture each other and cooperate in ways that enhance their chances of survival. This is a very interesting game, but any game where I get the chance to play an animal, I have to play. Same game, uh, same but thing with the, the game Stray coming out next year, where you get to be like disasters. some back alley cat. That's gonna be fun. Oh shit! They're making this so intense, <laughs> like a horror movie. There goes mom. And where there is life, there is hope. This young family of sugar gliders is living on hope. This would be awesome if it was like With a dinosaur game. With their nest destroyed and their father cruelly taken, they'll need every ounce of it to brave the dangers of the wild in search of a new home. Young gliders, or joeys, sometimes remain with their mothers until they are ten months old. At only six months, our young glider will need more time at his mother's side to learn the ropes. <laughs> Alright, so this is our mother, so I must be the father. Every step forward for this Joey is a step into the unknown. His mother and baby sister are the only constants in his life. And his mother has the knowledge and wisdom that come with age. He'll have to follow her closely. He's still young and has much to learn. Purple butterfly. Pressing buttons, so he still can't jump or run or glide. But that's all right. Oh, it's ant. Mushrooms and other succulent plant life not only offer nourishment to the sugar glider, but a path to follow. For where plants thrive, other forms of life can thrive as well. Nice, is he all the mushrooms? Not that one. Jumping, 
A precursor to Mega gliding jump. keeps the glider nimble and strong. Skills he'll need if he's to survive this quickly changing environment. Oh, I can jump pretty high. For an animal, at least. Sugar glider. A spider. Though small, it has all the markings of the notorious Black Widow. Bring it. Pussy. The glider must master every skill in his arsenal to thrive. And one of his most notable attributes is gliding. He cannot survive without acquiring this primary skill. But to glide, there we go. you need strength. And strength comes from food. The forest floor, despite its dangers, also provides. Plump cloudberries fruit are chock full of nutrients and tasty too. Oh, can we glide now? Oh, I gotta, we gotta get a look at this view. This is Savior Island, one of only a handful of ecosystems that remain. Its dense forest would once have offered cover and comfort to this young sugar glider, but no longer. I'm like a huge the documentary nerd, so this is like zone of competing pretty species. dope right now. There we go. Away. The sugar glider feels most at home in the trees, and for good reason. The glider's whole body is adapted for the high life of the forest canopy. Opposable thumbs on his hind feet allow him to clasp branches and perform wonderful feats of acrobatics. With his gliding membrane, he can defy gravity itself and float on the air like a piece of paper, at least in theory. Whoa! Whoop! Gliding isn't an easy skill to master. Good thing this we didn't youngster die. will need more practice to get it right. I'm back. I think I might want to change the controls. I'm not sure that was inverter. Oh, purple slugs. And S car go them down. A delicious meal. There's nothing like a successful hunt to put the spring back in your step. The sugar glider forges ahead with a new vigor. Glider has ventured close to the cliff's edge. The winds here are harsh. One wrong move could send him tumbling into the waters below. And because gliders can't swim, this would be a deadly mistake. Yeah, so no falling. Although I feel like it would be easier to just glide down. But if the wind's that strong that it'll just carry me away, then F that. Still got to follow mommy.
The terrain is rocky and inhospitable. Nothing like the smooth tree trunks and sturdy going, branches the sugar glider is used to. Crags, steep slopes, and sudden gaps in the earth present a treacherous challenge. Up ahead, a scorpion. This creepy crawler wields a dangerous weapon. Picking on a my new friend, stinger that could kill the glider gecko. with a single jab. And this striking fiend won't let the glider go without a fight. This gutsy Joey has a battle on his hands. Oh, she had to grab me. Let go. Scorpions aren't that strong, can't throw me. He's done it. The sugar glider him? reigns victorious. Nope. A testament to his rapidly developing skills. With a newfound confidence, he pushes forward toward the next challenge. Sugar gliders have powerful instincts that can alert them not only to the presence of predators, but to the safest paths forward. But instincts are useless if they're ignored. The glider must learn how and when to listen to these inner nudges. Finely honed instincts could mean the difference between life and death. Come back, berries. Oh, I can't eat those. This poisonous plant is a member of the Solanum, or nightshade family. A single prick of its thorns can cause serious injury to an animal as small as the sugar glider. It may be some time before he regains his strength. Scorpion almost kicked my ass earlier. I need some more food. Chilling cry was uttered by a bearded vulture, a massive bird that could crush the sugar glider between its talons like a porcelain doll. The sugar glider's senses are on high alert. Every instinct in his body tingles in the presence of this threat. He moves cautiously, keeping inconspicuous and out of sight. Don't let it find you. The vulture is aware of movement on the ground. It could spot the glider at any moment. Our Joey must remain quiet and hidden if he's to survive.
didn't get eaten. Narrowly avoiding the vulture, the sugar glider can breathe a sigh of relief for now. When can I turn into a mega glider? A lizard is in the glider's sights. He must tread lightly. These scaly delicacies are. Oh, lizard's getting they more. Is that a purple lizard? He's Got him. This wriggling lizard will make a fine meal for his mother. Oh crap, was I supposed to bring it back? <laughs> I think I just ate it. Yep, huh? <laughs> supposed to bring it back. He's done it. This wriggling lizard will make a fine meal for his mother and sister. Butterflies give you a nice amount too. Where are we going next, Mom? A storm rumbles in the distance. The glider oh. must move quickly what to bone? avoid being caught by its rages. Oh, it's probably a bird bone. I forget. It's just like so big. I think it's like a monster. attached precariously to a vine. For most animals, this obstacle would be impossible to bypass. A fall from this height would be fatal and not worth the risk. But the sugar glider is a masterful acrobat and light on his feet. Damn he right may I succeed am. here where others would undoubtedly fail. Giant skeleton once belonged to a whale. Ah, the whale has never seen such a thing, and there's no reason he should have. But sadly, the presence of this decomposed carcass so far inland is no mystery. Seismic changes, likely a tsunami caused by the shift, no doubt deposited this unfortunate creature. Now letting that bug the go island. away. The poor beast perished here, unable to return to its watery home. What remains a mystery is how sugar gliders, these tiny, intrepid mammals, have managed to survive the Earth's upheavals, while so many others have failed. Can they eat the grass? Yep. Oh, I like took away. Watch all poison ivy down Unaware there. Unaware of the mystery surrounding his existence, 
the glider explores, taking in the strange sights and smells. By necessity, our glider is active during the day, though they are usually nocturnal. He'll have to use every instinct available to him to survive this strange and hostile landscape. There we go. Let's go, mommy. Oh, come on. How'd you... You freaking dink. Let's do this again and not land in the freaking death grass. Almost feels like I'm playing a bug's life. The clever Classic glider game, by the turns way. a log into a vessel. Whoa, but there we go. Innovation goes a long way on this island. Whoa, big fish. Oh, you... Jump, jump. Jump, dude. Oh, man, you suck. <laughs> the clever glider turns a log into a vessel. A little innovation goes a long way on this island. Leads to a potential nest. West but Creek Park. It's inside those just where I reside. Glasses. A cluster of spiders attacks. With their superior numbers, they could easily overwhelm the sugar gliders. Ain't touching my family. The sugar glider has eaten the whole. Oh crap! I ate a poisonous that spider. No spider. Fortunately. This hardy youngster has the strength to survive this mistake. After some brief unpleasantness, All right, no more eating spiders. Less of the poison variety. Aggressive arachnids in competition for their own survival are an ever-present menace to sugar gliders. I got you, mom. I got you, fam. On the island. Lucky I don't bust out my sh mega sugar glider cannon. I dare you, pussies. How'd I get infested? I was protecting it. Gotta find a new nest now. Oh. Mama down?
I must go save her. The habitat of the Sugar Glider has changed dramatically since the shift. Driven from the trees by torrential storms and forced to adapt to life on the forest floor, these tiny marsupials have shown remarkable resiliency. How big is Where that? Where larger, brawnier animals what? have failed, no way. sugar gliders continue to survive. That is pretty the big. Where is the rest of the world? <laughs> mysterious to us. Nice. That is pretty big. I'm traveling to the nest. Can't travel to a place that I haven't been. Let's see. Butterflies, a feast for the eyes as well as the stomach. These fluttering insects will make a hearty meal for our young glider. Come on, bud. Remarkably, the glider catches butterflies but does not eat them. Instead, he stores them for later. Store them where? Oh, come on, pink butterfly. Where's the tunnel? Extraordinary. The glider has fed the butterflies to his mother, who now appears to be recovering oh, from her out, spider mommy. bite. There is no reason a butterfly should provide an antidote for spider venom, and yet it appears to have done so. Is it possible the nectar or pollen the butterflies have been feeding on contain some hidden properties we are as yet unaware of? And how did the sugar glider know that this antidote would do the trick? Whoa, don't fall. This tumbling waterfall presents a beautiful but dangerous challenge. Its splashing waters threaten to throw the gliders off course while drenching nearby nooks and crannies in slick liquid. Oh, there we go. Xavier Island is home to a wide variety of bioluminescent fungi. These glowing mushrooms, nature's nightlights, help guide the sugar gliders on their way. 
A complex relationship seems to exist between the gliders and these mushrooms. Sparkling sprouts that provide food, illumination. I'm having fun pretty far. I mean, pretty narrative. As has been theorized. Interactive. Something more. I swear that's got to be David Attenborough or just the young all old English dudes sound like that. It's the open air. Glider and his family are finally back on solid ground. Now, on to the next challenge. Yeah, what's next, Mom? Mommy! This gully is dominated by a skulk of foxes. These ravenous omnivores would love to have our family of super gliders for dinner. Better the gliders not. will have to be quick and quiet if they want to avoid being on the menu. skilled scavengers, adept at locating and then feeding on the decaying carcasses of other animals. Go on, Mom. Waiting on you. Get away, Fox. Over time, the dead have become more plentiful than the living, and scavengers have come to dominate the island. But this imbalance cannot last forever. Eventually, food will run out for the scavengers as well. The future of life on Earth depends on whether small mammals like the sugar glider can find a way to rebound. The sugar glider must eat whenever he can. Sprinting, climbing, gliding, these are all made easier by a full belly. And on an island as volatile as this one, opportunities for food must always be seized. A joyous reunion. Together once more, the sugar glider family enjoys some much needed rest. Yeah, and I'm out of stamina, so the boy needs to eat. The vulture returns. It's arrival. Oh, it's sit as the bird. Leaving the gliders no time to hide or even react. There is little chance of survival. A sad reality of life on this perilous island. Oh no. Gotta glide ourselves out of this one right now. This young glider is resilient. More resilient than any of us could have expected. But the loss of his mother and sister has affected him deeply. The poor Joey cries out, his unique vocalizations expressing his sorrow, but also sending out a signal to his mother and sister. He is alive and will be coming for them. This bug is super resilient.
There's no time to lose. The longer the glider's mother and sister are in the clutches of the vulture, the lower their chances of survival. The Joey bounds forward with a new determination to reunite with his family. A peculiar relationship exists between surviving species like sugar gliders and the fungi we're going, native really. to Saviour Island. The fungi seems able to influence these animals in ways researchers have yet to fully comprehend. It's as if an enhanced evolutionary process is at play, one that both strengthens these animals physically and heightens their instincts. Researchers have dubbed this phenomenon fungi symbiosis and continue to explore its effects. I'm there for just going down. Oh, not the water. Ah, oh, man. Gotta figure out how the hell to get out of that. I don't know if you gotta wait till you get older or he just can't swim for shit. There's no time to lose. The longer the glider's mother and sister are in the clutches of the vulture, the lower their chances of survival. The Joey bounds forward with a new determination to reunite with his family. A peculiar relationship exists between surviving species like sugar gliders and the fungi native to Saviour Island. The fungi seems able to influence these animals in ways researchers have yet to fully comprehend. It's as if an enhanced evolutionary process is at play, one that both strengthens these animals physically and heightens their instincts. Researchers have dubbed this phenomenon fungi symbiosis and continue to explore its effects. clash. In this case, two low-lying rivers forced together by seismic shifts. This water obstruction presents a potentially deadly challenge to the sugar glider. Oh, come on, buddy. Gosh, I should say I should have stayed on the outer log. Amphibians live in these dank caverns, a bona fide feast for our young glider. Ah, oh, knock it off, damn it. All right, little buddy, keep rocking. Wait, no. Oh. Oh no, wait a minute, I just came down here. Dumbass.
All right, guy. So small log it is. A wealth of amphibians live in these dank caverns. A bona fide feast for our young glider. Want to get me one lizard? <laughs> Damn spiders. Oh yeah, that filled me up. Perfect. Oh, Culebra. Snake. This species is non-venomous, but still dangerous to our Joey. You ain't no Final Fantasy Seven Cobra. One of foods are small mammals like sugar gliders. The Joey will have to battle his way past it. is growing weak. He'll need food, and soon, if he's to succeed on this quest. Oh, come on, where'd you guys come from? Sugar Glider has eaten the highly venomous Black Widow Spider. Oh, again, damn it. This hardy youngster has the strength to survive this mistake. After some brief unpleasantness, he'll recover. There we go. Lesson learned. An impressive victory for our little Joey. Yeah, you bitch. Can I eat him? Nah, it's too big. Oh, the bowels of the earth sends rocks and streams of water pouring into the gulch. This glider must use all his skills to quickly reach the ground level before the rising water does. Run, buddy, run.
the Vulture. Against all odds, the glider has managed to track down his flying nemesis. His mother and sister still... You know, it definitely would have made this game if they just would have made, uh, like, all the species. We could all understand each other. The glider can only hope that it really be a bug's life. And that somehow, he can find a way to rescue them. All right, let me save this bit. Actually, let's see... Evidence of human beings, relics like these of some of our failed attempts at salvation, are scattered across the island. Human beings made countless attempts to maintain a presence on Earth. Sadly, those attempts ended in disaster. The sugar glider appears tiny and fragile next to these remnants of a once advanced and sophisticated civilization. And yet, he has accomplished something in his persistence on Earth that none of us could. Hey, I don't really know where to go. Whoa, what just happened? Against all odds, the glider has managed to track down his flying nemesis. His mother and sister still dangling helplessly from its talons. Oh, I see. Time them. is of the so essence. So he's going. The glider can only hope that his family lives, and that yeah. somehow he can find, find a, way a way to rescue them. Life finds a way, right? Evidence of human beings, relics like these of some of our failed attempts at salvation, are scattered across the island. Human beings made countless attempts to maintain a presence on Earth. Sadly, those attempts ended in disaster. The sugar glider appears tiny and fragile next to these remnants of a once advanced and sophisticated civilization. And yet, he has accomplished something in his persistence on Earth that none of us could. Oh, that's a spider's nest right there. Vultures right up there. All right. The presence of cobwebs can only mean one thing. This is spider territory, and the glider must be on high alert. Bring it. <laughs> I was just about to eat that. I forgot. Poisonous.
Oh, that's a... Whoa, that's definitely a boss. This <laughs> the boss fighter. oversized tarantula would like to make a meal of our Joey. To survive, the glider will have to be quicker still. Arachnids are one of the few creatures able to flourish since the shift. Insect populations have been out of control since many of the species that once fed on them have gone extinct. Spiders have moved in to fill the void. Oh boy, you can make it. That's a thick spider. Whoa, I didn't even know where I was going. I just jumped in a moment of desperation, damn it. But he gives you nowhere to jump. Yeah, this is that poison. Oh, what? So I was supposed to dive through there? Nope. Bro, I have no idea where to go. Let's just die right here. So you go through those fireflies, you get a fly boost, but... So yeah, I guess we're gonna dive straight through. Oh, did better than last time, but let's try to get on one of those rocks, those logs. Oh, finally some land. This perilous glide is another demonstration of the sugar glider's impressive skill. Oh, that wasn't too deep, but that was gonna die. Okay. The vulture stops on an abandoned human edifice. Nature continues to reclaim what relics humans have left behind. Though, Give me back my family, some damn structures it! structures appear less vulnerable to nature's encroachment than others. It is almost as if these structures are somehow being maintained.
We want to get in there. Oh, come on again. Oh. This dude's definitely got to learn to swim. The glider must find a way to scale these ruins. How else is he to track the vulture and rescue his family? All right, stay on the up and these vines. How do I get in there? Can I just jump from this point? All right, so I guess we're gonna try to take a, a stab at it from right here. So, never mind. I was debating on making that jump too, but if you gotta keep going. Nice. The 
Sugar Glider has taken a risk by venturing close to these deadly red thorns. What? This risk did not pay off. He's that been scratched. Enemy. A toxin now flows through his body, slowing him down and draining his strength. It will take time for him to recover. No, what the hell? I don't want to fight a scorpion. <laughs> I just walked into like the boss area. He did. The tenacious Joey continues his quest and is determined to rescue his family. On to the next glide. A sliding log offers the glider an unexpected boost. The vulture appears to have stopped for a breather. The glider oh, is not going to still in its part. clutches. But the pair of marsupials appear alive and well. There's hope. The glider must press on. He may yet be able to save them. Alright, well, next time on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, save this, but yeah, not bad. I actually like this. Pretty, pretty soothing playing it. Create new save. All right, yeah, I like that. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely gonna hop on that later, but I picked up Darksiders 3, so I wanna jump on that.